Hey everyone, Joe from North Track Fishing here. I want to switch gears from fishing and boating today to bug out bags. Here in Colorado, we had two examples of reasons you'd want to have a bug out bag. One was a wildfire that destroyed 1,100 homes. And the other was not far from here, a tire dump caught on fire with really bad fumes that were blowing from uh, to the northeast. Thank goodness it didn't hit us, but would have been a good reason to get out of Dodge. So I want to share with you what I have in my bug out bag, depending on where you live and depending on where you're going to bug out to, uh, is going to have a bearing on what you put in your bag. Starting with the bag, this is a 511 Tactical Rush 72 backpack. Has a ton of different pockets, has a full Molly system all the way around it so you can attach things to it, and has a ton of different pockets to keep things organized. Category is fire. Make sure you put everything in a plastic bag so it doesn't get wet. I like to carry three big lighters. I like to carry a pencil sharpener so you can make small shavings or wood. These are stormproof matches. Another set of stormproof matches. Get some lint from your dryer. This works really well to start fires. You can put Vaseline on it. It goes up like that as well. This is a Doan mag stick, so you scrape the magnesium off and then you strike it and you can spark a fire. This is wet fire tinder. Break this up, starts a fire immediately. And this is a Fresnel lens, so utilizing the sun, you can start a fire. Next category, signaling, communications, and navigation. So always carry a couple different compasses with you, know how to use them. Carry maps of the local area or the area you're gonna be going to. I carry a couple of different whistles. I carry a signaling mirror. This is a wind-up uh, radio, so and it also runs on a lithium-ion battery and, tri and AAA batteries. You can also charge your phone with it too, and it does have a, uh, a light on the front of it as well. So, nice little handy survival radio. And I do carry binoculars as well. These are Vortex Diamondback 1028s, and these are small enough to carry and uh, are really, really good binoculars. All right, next category is light and power do have a small streamlight tactical flashlight and a Petzl headlamp. I also carry one of these anchor battery chargers for to recharge your phone and, and anything with a USB, along with the appropriate cords and the batteries for these two lights. I also carry some glow sticks as well as some nine hour candles. All right, next category I call personal items and hygiene. So I'm gonna have an extra pair of my prescription glasses along with a pair of safety glasses that are uh, like sunglasses. This is a pair of ski goggles. Gonna have cash in different denominations and a roll of quarters as well as a credit card. I put some important information on this USB and I've also printed out some material and put it in this waterproof bag. Toilet paper, Q-tips, toothbrush, toothpaste, an emery board, dental floss, visine and chapstick. This is bug spray and sunscreen. Bring a couple of these microfiber towels, some hand sanitizer, Kleenex, and some wet wipes. I have some N95 masks here as well as earplugs and plastic or rubber gloves. And then this camp soap you can use to clean up and to clean your, your dishes as well. And then I'll also have some uh, camo face paint in case I want to go incognito. Next category is tools and supplies. So this is a 14 inch Fiskars hatchet. My straight blade knife is a SOG seal pup. And then I do have a Leatherman Wave multi-tool as well as a Swiss Army knife. This is a Champ model. I also carry uh, a lock pick set as well as these two tools that are used for opening both water and gas from commercial valves. I do carry mace as well, or bear spray. And then a couple of sharpeners for your, your blades. This is a right in the rain pen and pad. And I'll also carry uh, a Sharpie with me, as well as one of these Smith & Wesson tactical, uh, tactical pens. For some of the supplies, just a big plastic bag can be used for a number of different things. 
100 foot of 550 paracord. This is some sail thread and there's a sail needle in there as well, uh, as well as a uh, small mending kit. I have some zip ties, some duct tape, some electrical tape, and then in this bag is some large safety pins and paper clips. This is some trip wire and then three feet of latex tubing. So those are my supplies and tools that I'll have packed in my go bag. All right, this category is first aid. Make sure you keep everything in a plastic bag so you keep it dry. Uh, the first thing is just a lot of different size band-aids and gauze uh, for various type of wounds, some gauze you can roll, and then some surgical tape to keep it all in place. I also have one of these advanced clotting gauzes in case it's a uh, wound that's bleeding quite a bit. Some alcohol prep pads, uh, Neosporin, some Benadryl. I uh, do have some of this liquid skin and some super glue. Mold skin works really well if you have blisters from walking. And then of course betadine to clean wounds and some potassium iodide. A pair of tweezers for splinters. This little titanium capsule I have aspirin in and I have it clipped to the outside of the bug out bag. But then I have various painkillers and Tums and vitamins in this pill container as well. A couple of these Mylar blankets. This is a tourniquet. And this is an Israeli bandage. So that's what's in my first aid kit. All right. We're at shelter, bedding, and clothing. So I will carry a couple of bandanas with me. This is probably one of the most important things I bring, which is my boonie hat. So it keeps you out of the sun, keeps you the rain off you, uh, keep your head warm to a degree. A pair of wool socks, an extra pair of wool socks. This is a wool ski mask. You can wear it in a number of different ways. And then some light work gloves. I also carry a shemag. A lot of different things you can do with that. A lot of different ways you can wear that as well. I do have a two-man survival tent and uh, a bivy, so I will strap a sleeping bag onto my bag and then I'll just put the sleeping bag in this bivy, it'll keep it dry, drier, keep it warmer. Uh, so that's what that's used for. This is a tarp that it, uh, if I'm hiking I can put over myself and the bag, but I can also use this as shelter as well. This is really cool, it's a sport utility blanket, it's orange on one side, silver on the other, so it can be used for signaling as well. But there's a number of different things you can do with this as far as shelters go and carrying things or making a rescue litter, things of that nature. Do carry some tent spikes. Uh, that along with the paracord, you can erect a uh, pretty good shelter in no time. And these are handy as well. These are hand warmers. Uh, you can use them in your gloves. You can use them in your, uh, uh, in your shoes as well. All right, last category, food, water, and cooking. So probably the most important thing is water. Make sure you have a Nalgene bottle. Make sure you have a steel bottle so you can put water that you've boiled in. And of course you need something to boil water. So I use one of these Solo stoves, they're a wood burning stove, and this Solo pot. I can boil water and then I can put it in uh, these bags and this is freeze dried food. So that's how you'd, you'd cook that. You also want to have an extra uh, container for water. This is a 70 ounce platypus. It folds up neatly. Doesn't take a lot of room in the bag. If you need to filter water that has sediment in it, you can use coffee filters and pour it right into one of your bottles uh, bef before, you, uh, before you maybe purify it or, or boil it. Um, these are water purification tablets. Just make sure you read the directions on how you use it. And then you always want to carry a, a life straw. You could drink out of, a, out of a lake or a river utilizing one of these life straws. I also like to carry uh, this titanium spoon. I have this spork that I can utilize. And then uh, this is a folding spatula. And these are really neat for camping as well. These are fold up bowls so they can fold into the shape of a bowl and then flatten out to put in your backpack. So that's the last category. I know that's a lot of junk. 
it's a bit of uh, an art to pack it back into the bag and your bag is going to vary depending on where you live and where you're going to bug out to but hope you enjoyed that thanks